Well hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to episode 6 of my Valheim Let's Play. It is once again fantastic to have you all back and I hope you're all doing really well. So I'm sat here looking at our building but more importantly looking at this little sapling in front of me because we finally managed to get some birch seeds. Or should I say a birch seed singular because yeah <laughs> I don't know what it is about this game but it's really hard to, to find seeds. And outside my window right now, it is gale force winds and pouring rain. That is actually quite spectacular. Wow. Bit of a contrast to this right now. Um, but yeah, lots to do today. Lots of exciting things. Now, well, it was forecast to do that, so I shouldn't be surprised by that. Uh, I know you might be going, but you've got birch trees there. Why aren't you cutting those down? Uh, because I want to keep them because they look pretty. Now, in the last episode, we finished off by constru uh, constructing this little dock here. A few of you said that you really liked the dock, which is great. Um, I hope you liked how I did it. Uh, I still haven't found the um, the channel I need to give credit to for it, but it's it's really quite cool. I quite like it. But I'm still yet to get on this boat. Now, that is something I want to do today, is to go a little bit of an explore on the boat. But firstly, there are some things I want to do. Uh, first of all, that is get a fermenter up and running. So I've just been out collecting some fine wood. We just have enough here. We also have a stack of it outside, but I believe to make a fermenter we need 30 wood uh, of that kind. You may also notice I'm starting to get them more organised here. We need some resin, of which we have so much. Uh, what else do we need? Do we need some copper, is that correct? Bronze, five bronze and a forge nearby. So we know our forge just reaches into next door. I can't remember how much it just said just then, but I'm going to guess four. I think it was four. Uh, ooh, we can get an anvil as well. Oh, five. Classically guessed wrong. Even though I'd literally just seen it. Oh, that's what I've got in there. I literally just want the one, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. We need to have our food items. There we go. And let's go and finally put this fermenter down. This is going to be a temporary placement. God, it's quite big, isn't it? Uh, temporary placement just because, obviously, we're going to be putting the floor underneath it. But for now... Oh, just in the forge. There we go. I can put that in the corner there. Fantastic. So now we need to go back to our cauldron, which obviously we will move into there on top of a hearth uh, soon. And we need to see what we want to make. So this is the one I want to make. I want to make a... We'll see what we can make, really. So let's just grab all the things I've got. You know, I've got, like, raw meats for ingredients, steak... Let's take all of those. Uh, resin we don't need. We'll need honey. We'll need mushrooms. Uh, what don't I need right now? How much? I've got loads of meat. So don't need all that meat. Let me put some of these items away quickly. Don't need that one. <laughs> Trying to go through what do I not... There we go. That's the one I was looking for. Uh, and back into here. Make sure we've got a bunch of each. Okay, let's give it a go. What can we and can't we do? We can do a minor stamina. Let's just do one of those. We can then do a poison resistance when you have thistle and coal. So let's get my thistle. And some coal, which I think we have a load of. Yes, we do. Uh, let's get rid of some wood. We don't need the wood right now. Let's take all of that just in case. I think it was 10 coal, was it? Yes, it was. So let's get... Why can't I... Oh, my inventory's full. How interesting. Uh, right, we have a trophy. We don't need that trophy. Right, so me blabbering on about how organised I was. And there we go. And I can make a second one. Oh, no, you can only do that. Okay, so let's go and put these two in. I, I am quite excited with this because I've never done this before. So... Can I do one at a time? Yes, I can only do one at a time. So that's just a normal one going in. That is so cool. So we're fermenting stuff. How exciting. So let's put these ingredients away. And we know we have the other mead base ready to go. So raw meats can go back away. That's all that lot. Resin can go back away. That's all that lot. Honey and berries and all that good stuff can go back in. We've used to use up quite a lot of our honey doing that, which is quite good, I suppose. Thistles can go back in here. Feathers can go back in there. 
and I want to store this somewhere safe. So let's put it in the raw meats for now, because that sounds clever, doesn't it? Right, okay, let's get some sleep in us. And then we've got the fermenting, hopefully might do it overnight if it's like the other things. A vast mass of bear flesh, how lovely. Good morning. Is that day 60 now? About there? I feel cold. Is our fermenting done? Day 62, here we go. And still fermenting. Okay, that's not a problem. So I think the plan now, as I say, is to go and do a little bit of a recce in our boat. We have food, we have arrows, our axe is not repaired. You never know. You never know. I am dropping a few frames right now, which is a little bit annoying, but hopefully that'll be okay. But I've been looking forward to doing this for quite a while. Slightly stormy seas, but not the worst in the world. Now, which way do I want to go? I think I might go and try and explore round the outside of this island, because there's lots of islands. Uh, I recently went down here and then found that I actually linked all the way back up to one big land mass. So I'm quite keen to, say, to go down here, go along and see what happens. So, on we hop, and we go back to here, you use the rudder. Now to put the sheets down, so that's that and, hmm. I don't remember how this works. Ah, it's double tap, that's what it is. And the sails are down, and we're off. The wind is from behind us though, so this is going to be a little bit tough to try and get the right angle here. We can just get, keep it there. Fantastic! Okay, we are finally sailing on the seas. Wow. It's only taken us <laughs> a long time. A fair few episodes to do this. But you can see the wind indicator there on the right, uh, showing exactly where the wind's coming from. And that little dark spot in front is where I will not get any drive at all. Wow. It's quite rough, isn't it? So now I'm just going to swing round a little bit and go around this island. Now what we're really looking out for is a swamp biome. I doubt we're going to find anything close to home. Um, but you you really never know. Ooh, what's a building over here? Go and check that out if we wanted to. Oh my god, there's actually quite a lot of... Oh no, we're going to a dead spot. That's not so good. Can we get out of that enough to get around? Almost, almost. That wind swung right around suddenly. There we go. We've just got enough wind there. I want to do some tacking. Got to get used to this. So just got the wind. And then when we think we can tack, we'll have a go. I reckon we can tack now. Spin it. Let the thing do its work. And we just have the wind. Right. Let me get some sailing music on as we do a bit of explore here. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we've basically joined up to where we've seen before, as you can see here. So now I'm quite tempted to see, you know, obviously it's a little bit more of a little, little bit of an island here again. But I'm wondering, so ahead of us we've got land I've explored, but we have land there. So, <laughs> I mean, do I just do this? The wind's in the right direction for us right now. Do we just do it? Do we just go and have a look and see what land it is and then come back? I mean, it just, it feels so tempting. It feels so right. The only thing I'm worried about is sea serpents. Now if we see a sea serpent we are going to spin on our heels and get the hell out of here. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about doing this because we're still in the meadows biome technically now but as soon as it says open water it's going to be a little bit terrifying. Um, we're probably really not very well equipped for this. I do have my bow so hopefully that's going to be enough but we'll see. We are still meadows so hopefully you know maybe it's not going to get us onto open water yet. 
I'll probably not just jinx that, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, we'll whack it back onto that little time lapse. Hopefully, you're enjoying that bit of music. It is the music from Valheim. It's the sailing music, so we'll get it back on for you. We'll get it cranking, and we're going to aim for this little gap in here, and hopefully, this could be a salt biome. So enjoy. Okay, so I have just seen a troll, and I've been looking to try and kill some trolls, so we are going to just pause here. Hopefully without destroying our boat too much. And try and get this guy. Because I basically I need hide. Uh, stop moving. He's focusing on something else right now, which is not very helpful. So I can't get a clear shot on him when he's behind there. Oh, he's really angry. Right, I'll make sure he doesn't destroy my boat here. Don't destroy my boat, please. Please stay over here, sir. Leave my boat alone. Oi. Come here. You're not putting out much of a fire, are you? Muppet. Can I have your troll hide, please? Hello, thank you. Uh, and I don't need you being annoying either. Ooh, that's not the right button. Okay, right, I don't actually pick up the troll hide there, so let's make sure we do grab all that. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, oh, there's a spawner over here. We can quickly get rid of this whilst you guys are with me. And then we'll get back on our way to exploring, I think. Uh, what's my button? Oh, a bit of an auto save. That's a fun one. Can I have a weapon, please? Just destroy this quickly. We don't have anything to do with that. Come here, everyone. Come here. One, two. There we go. Okay, brilliant. Good to have that out of the way. So let's get back on our boat. And I'm probably going to go around these islands just looking for any change in biome. Now, is there a storage facility in this? There's not. Okay, so it's the next boat we're going to have to get the storage, which is annoying, but um, that'll have to do. Right, so I'm hoping if I can spin this round enough, just a little bit more, keep spinning, keep spinning, keep spinning. Right, and we're up and going, just about. So now, can I judge this? How good is my skill on a boat to get it through this gap here without going too quick around the corner perfect right okay so let's look at the map and see how we're doing so we are going through this little gap here as i say i will keep an eye out for trolls because i want to get their hides but for now i'm going to whiz around these islands probably take a cut here or we'll get a time lapse again we'll see what we think and we'll basically come back to you once we've done a little lap or if we find anything interesting See you in a bit. Okay, I didn't have to wait long. I think we may have found the swamp. I think this could be a swamp biome dead ahead. I think this could be it, guys. I'm I'm nervous. I'm very nervous right now. That looks like one of the ones to me. So these places are nasty, because this is basically the next biome up. So we goes meadows, obviously is the basic, then we goes black forest, and then we get to swamp. So, I might actually just pull in here, just to be safe. If I can spin it around quickly enough, so I can leave it, give myself a chance to get out still. Spin around one more, one more bit, one more bit. Round we go. Right, how is our archery skills? That's the big question. 
So, boat is there. I should probably make a little base here and a portal. It would have been clever to bring my circling cores with me, but I haven't. So, <laughs> we're going to deal with that now. We make sure we're fully fed and all good because we're about to see some nasty, nasty people. Yeah, and I'm quite nervous. I forgot what they're called, like dra drangs? Oh, first it's a skeleton. Now it's time for you to see the power of using a mace. Much quicker on the skeletons. There they are. Oh, these guys move fast, so you've got to be careful. Draugr. There's one dead. I can see the guy to my left, don't worry. Ah, give him my mace. There you go, got him, got him. It's the guys with the bows I'm worried about. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Give me your brains. Entrails, that's the one. <laughs> I knew it was something similar to that. Now, normally, if you're sensible, you would bring... There's the eels, leeches even. You'd bring poison potions because of these guys. Now, I want these guys because they're going to give me... They're going to give me good stuff. I might be able to use this here. But I need to be careful here. Keep my wits about me all the time. Here's blood bags. Loads of skeletons suddenly. So we'll just quickly use this to get rid of them both. Now, keep your wits about you. There was one more skeleton. There he is. Yeah, okay, we're good against skeletons. Now, the other thing is blobs or slime things. I don't know what they're called. There is these things up here, and I can't remember what they're from. There's also, like, wraiths, which I'm really worried about. Basically, there's quite a lot of stuff to be wary of right now. So, me going in here without really thinking is probably not the best idea. I can... you can hear them. Oh, okay, that was close. This is... here we go. See how much damage that did to me? I need to get close to this guy. Got him. Wow, so he knocked off half my health there. So that was pretty pretty scary. So I should I should be really having better foods before I do this. Uh, please, I was going to say, please don't tell this is only a bit of the swamp biome we've got. Just this tiny little bit here. But it's probably not the most unhelpful place, actually. Because it means I might be able to get... Ah, now this is the too hard thing that someone mentioned. So much in my comments, if you see too hard, it means that there's actually an area here that you can mine and get your iron. So we're going to check that out. Oh, careful. I thought that was a dragger behind me. Oh, careful. Here we go. So these are the guys I need to be careful of. No, wrong one. Wrong button. So if they poison me, I'm in trouble. Yep. That's what I meant. There we go. Ooze, got it. Get my shield out. There we go. Okay, okay. Right, how are we doing? I'm not poisoned anymore. We're okay. Let's eat everything we can. But I'm really intrigued. Is there another... Oh my god, there's so many leeches. I want to get the pick out. Oh! Oh. My. God. Okay, so that <clears throat> wasn't supposed to really be happening. Uh, thankfully, I'm not doing a challenge where I can't die. 
So <laughs> that's quite lucky. Anyway, a few uh, hours, or actually a day has gone by since I had that little mishap. Uh, and basically in that time, this has actually fermented. We now have our minus stamina meads. So if we need a bit of stamina, we can whack that. I actually got two birch seeds here as well. So I'll whack those down. That one's growing nicely. Another one growing here. So we've actually suddenly starting to get um, some birch seeds, which is lovely, jubbly, jubbly. Put them in place as well. Hopefully it's not be too crowded, not near to any, near any rocks or anything. What's a rock there? Please be healthy. Yep. And yeah, cool. Now you've just seen there, having this in my hotbar, we are basically now going to get a portal set up between here and Swamp Base, which I have started to create as well. So let's just start the swamp. There's a lot more swamp down here. So I want to do this and then I want to go around and check out this place here. Now you may see that I've done a lot more exploring. As you guys, I had to build a raft, which is down here as well, uh, which took about 40 minutes to get down just here because of the wind. Um, and also though back, I found a creature, which I believe you can mine, but it sinks. I'm not too sure about how it exactly works, but we might go and have a look on our way there now. But I thought the upstairs in here could be quite a good spot for a couple of portals. Even just temporary portals, you know, to me it seems like not a bad place to have one. So that is the back, this is the front. So I thought I could whack that there and set a tag for swamp or lowercase. Uh, so now we should have enough still. No, let's get another 10 greater wolf eyes uh, and more birch wood. And then we're going to head over. We're going to head back over to the swamp area. Didn't realize it was 10. That's quite a lot of great dwarf eyes. Thankfully, we have loads of them. And yep, yeah, from there, we are going to uh, start exploring again. Right, we've got loads of stuff in here. Nothing else is in there that I actually need. It's the berries are in here. So let's take all of this stuff quickly and see what we can make up. Where are my blueberries? There they are. I would like my blueberries. Let's put the resin away. Lots of stuff in my inventory right now. Right, let's try that again. Cauldron. So you can make these things. Uh, that's the stamina one. This is the minor stamina. This is. What does this one do? Oh, stamina regen, and that just gives you it. Okay, okay. So let's get some Queen's Jam. My inventory's full. I should have known that. Let's put the seeds away and the feathers away. Okay, try again. Queen's Jam. We need some of this. Cool. A boar jerky. We've got eight of it. That's probably okay for now. And eight of those jars will be okay for now. So all that stuff I just took out. Don't really uh, need it, actually. And we'll take only half of them for now. That can go away as well. There you go. Three food sources. Uh, we don't need this wood. We need that, and we need to go and grab our other birch wood. And then we need to set sail. So I do have a stack of birch wood here. There we go. I say birch wood, I mean fine wood. Unfortunately, my frames have been dropping a little bit in this game, and I'm not too sure why. So I will sort that out in a minute. Um, now, we only need 40 of this. So we will only take 40 of it. Please actually take 40 though, because that would be a pain. Uh, we want the 40, and then that, and that can go in there. Perfect. Okay, so we should have enough to do that. We need to eat. Again. We'll collect. Where's the sun? It's still quite high. All oh, the honey is actually full. Right, let me collect this and get on our way on the boat. Okay, so what's really cool about being on one of these boats is that you can actually let go of things. And you can move around the boat as you sail. Now... I'm seeing more lands that I hadn't seen before, which is pretty cool. New and unexpected lands, and the wind has turned in our favour. So, quite cool to have these places explored in case it's, you know, other biomes for later. Now, I do believe the next biome is the plains biome, but I mean, we're known we're near ready for that. The thing is, we could, can't even do a swamps biome. Although, I have been backed into it since and realised my mistake. And the mistake is that we don't have any poison resistance and uh, we don't have good enough armour 
and we went iron. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, the creature is supposedly. I mean, we know that that's this is the land straight ahead of us. Is this bit of land and the swamp base is directly ahead? But suppose the creature is just here. Is this unexplored land? Oh, this must be the land I've already seen. Yeah. So. I thought it was really foggy when I was there. Ah, is that it in the water? I can't quite see. Yeah, oh, bloody hell, there we go. So I believe this could be a creature which you can get on top of and mine. Now, I don't know if I should be trying this or not, but I'm very tempted to give it a go. Yeah, see, it just moved. It just moved, so that's got to be a creature. I don't want to... Because apparently they sink as soon as you start. Two of them? I don't know what to do about this. Do I give it a go? Right, sorry, okay, phone just went, so that's always a handy timing. But I'm I am tempted to give this one a go. So as soon as we get on it, start mining. And then we'll see what happens. Apparently it will start to sink straight away. Oh my god, yes, harpoon. I was correct. Take a take a potion. Should have to keep my stamina up really high. So when is it gonna start sinking? This is really exciting. Lots of chitin. Oh, now it's sinking. Is it sinking? No, no, it's still okay. I don't be too far from the boat when it does. Is it sinking? No, it doesn't look very happy though. Wow, this is absolutely crazy. Do I get off? Yeah, I get off. And I hope that my stamina is going to stay enough for me to get... Oh, I should turn the boat the other way around. That's absolutely crazy. It's still shaking. Oh, God. Oh, was there three of them? Oh my lord, I think there was three of them. How much did we get? 22 chitin. Right, well let's come back for these guys, because that's pretty awesome. Let's just whack that in my storage. That's awesome. Right, let's continue on our mission. But at least I've still got this marked. So I was correct about the fact that they do just suddenly disappear. But that's still very interesting. But we've definitely we unlocked some recipes, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's something to look at later. But uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. And that stamina is um, boost is pretty cool. Wrong button. We're going the wrong way slightly. There we go. So yeah, so the stamina boost. Wow! So it gives you. Just a massive, massive booster. That's awesome. Right, okay. We're almost there. I shall see you when we're pulling into our base. If you look closer, you can just saw our raft on the far left of your screen now. That is our old raft that I used <laughs> to get over. But here we are, coming into the base on a very foggy, foggy time. So I can't really see where we should be aiming right now. I'm hoping to be able to see some walls somewhere. That looks promising. That looks like some walls. Perfect. So we'll come in here and then we'll swing. Right the way around. Oh god, it's not enough. If 
Right, not my finest, but hopefully that's going to be okay. Maybe I haven't beached it properly. Anyway, welcome to the base. We have in here a little crafting table, a little chest for some bits and bobs that I had from last time being here. And we can now put down this. Now hopefully, if I put in swamp, hopefully that's connected. Now I haven't shown any metal on me, so I should be able to just pop back through. And we'll see if this works quickly. Fingers crossed. Spit me out in my pantry, please. Perfect. Cool. So that works well. Let's go back through and let's explore a bit more of the swamp. And there we go. Perfect. Cool. That works nicely. Uh, is a, ro a roof to use that, but we're not really using it. Okay. Right. So as we know, the swamp is just over here. Let's check out my trolls because every troll I kill is good. How many arrows do I have? Oh, plenty of arrows. Perfect. Um, now, any more draggers? Yes, there are more draggers. Now, I can actually one-hit kill them if you get them in the head. Like so. There we go. Nice and easy. Collect their entrails. But yes, this is where I need a poison resistance. resistance. Oh, I can't even say the word resistance. There we go. Oh, some skeletons. Let's switch to mace and shield. Come on, them. Watch out for the leeches, because they are my downfall. That's what killed me last time. Now, I don't know what these are. Okay, I think that's obviously where the oozes come from. But I can't kill them. There's another dragger here. I saw him. Also saw you, sir. Mace coming in clutch here. These leeches. Now, I have upgraded this as well, so hopefully it's going to do a bit more damage. Now, they're not coming back to me. Oh, there's another one here. See, so they just come out of nowhere. They come out of absolutely nowhere. Oh, that's another one. I can see you coming. Ooh. I wonder if it's better to shoot. Anyway, let me start to explore around the corner hell as we could be here all day because these guys just don't really stop spawning. There's another one coming behind. Was that, arrow, was that an arrow aimed at my face just then? I thought I heard an arrow ping. Let's get my shield up and ready. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so if we can get a hit, quick three hits on them and get that final hit, we're actually pretty good. Now, I wonder what happens if we go for the big hit on this guy. Yeah, we're getting good at draggers with the mace. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll keep collecting the entrails. And I've also upgraded the shield as well, so we should be pretty good with the shield now. Um, right, I think we now head round the corner, because obviously there's no crypts here. No, you're definitely not, so this is not your time, son. There we go. Yeah, time to head round the corner, so this should leave us out of the dark forest. And if we sort out our stamina and food, it was like for us, it should hopefully brighten a little bit. Because, yeah, there we go. So that is what the Dark Forest does. Now, I do want to keep collecting berries for potions and food items in the future. That's one of my major tips whenever playing Valheim. Keep collecting things. Just keep doing it. As I say, we really need a poison resistance right now because of the amount of things that can kill you 
in um was that something chasing me? No. Are things that can kill you with poison in the swamp. Now we need to cross here. So let's get our stamina right the way up. And that's good enough. This shield makes us really heavy is the only problem. So at some point we do speak the iron buckler, but it's just because it's the force. Um is a lot better with this shield. So that's kind of why I keep it on. I'm hoping we're not going to run into anything big. Okay, that tree freaked me out because I thought that was the uh, one of the bosses. But I realised you can't actually do a boss until you summon it, so that's okay. Anyway, I think I'm about to go back into the swamp. There we go, back into the swamp. Let it go dark again. There we go. Here we go, there's a news. Or a blob, I should say. Get you first. Okay, we're getting better. We're getting better. I've also upgraded my armor, as I said, by killing a few trolls. Uh, that allowed me... I see you. Allowed me to... Can't really see him anymore. Oh, just over his head. But he's now seen me. I need a headshot, please. That's a stunning shot. As in, <laughs> I stunned him. Um, more leeches. I mean, we could spend all day killing leeches if we could. That was a nasty noise. But I need to find a crypt. I'm hearing weird noises and I don't like it. What are those? Uh, skeletons and I see a dragger at the back. And a noose. Well, there's lots of things over here. So this is obviously the main... Oh, right, here we go. Level 2 Dragger. Need to be careful here. How many shots can we get into him before he gets too close to us? Get the shield out. Block the shots. Oh my god, see what I mean? Okay, so that wasn't very ideal. But we now have our poison. <laughs> oh, see what I mean by the swamp being hard? I would have thought that my shield would have been strong enough to deal with him. But obviously he's level 2 guys. I need to keep my distance. And if I get hit by them, we die. So that's a pretty obvious one. Now, I am just going to run in and try and get my stuff. Ow. Okay, that almost killed me. My own defences. Right, so I'm really hoping we don't run into anything right now. Because I do not have anything. I have no strength. I have barely any stamina. Yes, maybe let's not go into the swamp. Maybe let's stay away from the swamp. That's a uh, shaman. Let's stay away from the shaman. Try not to run into a... a... Oh god, I'm not going to have enough stamina to get across here. What is that? I don't know. This is when everything gets scary. <clears throat> that is a thinner part of the river I can cross in. I think we should be able to get across here. Let our stamina go right up. Classically, it's night time, so this is not going to be easy right now. Yeah, here we go. These guys are gonna just chase me if I keep if I don't kill them, so I'll just quickly kill them and then move on. Right. Now if we come across that level two Draga again, we are dead. There's a door now. And now it's night time. Well this is risky. There's the grave. I can't see if there's anything else around it. What the f oh, that's an oozer. What the hell is that? As in, like, is that dragon gone? Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. 
Ah, I couldn't pick everything up. I couldn't pick everything up. We need to drop stuff. What do we need? What do I not, I not need? Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Okay, so this isn't going very well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make the bronze add cheer just because that's going to give us some space uh, to kill things. Uh, my only worry is arrows, so basically I need to try and find where I put my shield or I might quickly make just a normal shield um, because we need one. But this is going to just give us a bit of space and be able to fight things from a distance rather than again, getting too close. So we're going to craft this up. It is the last of our bronze, but we're going to need it. Um, we're really going to need it, but I want to put away all the rest of this stuff now and make up some hide armor just you know, Just because we need some <laughs> stuff We're very Yeah, very much struggling at the moment. Have I got any other armor in here? No, so we'll take the helmet as well Anything we can get really right now Fantastic right. That's all our armor. Oh God, I've been struggling with this for a while We've died a couple of times now. If we look, not going very well. So, I shall get myself back over there and we will then see how we do. But I think the main thing really that I need to be doing is taking some cooked meat with me. Just a little bit of it. Like two pieces of that one. Uh, what's better? 25 and 8, 30 and 10. So we'll take three of those as well and we'll eat two of those and then we'll have some honey because I'm pretty sure honey has the best stamina 35 yeah and we'll take a touch of honey too cool now that's gonna make us nice and strong and I'll see you over there okay well we've come across a building in the middle of the swamp which looks terrifying any sane human being right now would not go anywhere near this. But it's in deep water, which is really confusing me. Right, we're in, we're in. There's benches. Tables. How strange. What a weird thing. But still no sign of anything that I actually want. I thought I saw something there. That freaked me out. But the swamp does continue to go, so that's the important bit. And these things are just weird. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I shouldn't have got it as attention. That is a wraith, everyone. Which is probably fairly obvious to you all. If I can get a clean shot on it, we'll be good. How much is its health down by? How much is its health down by? This thing will kill me in one shot if I'm not careful. And I now have loads... Oh my god, thank god it died. <gasps> Did I get a chain for that? What do I not need? What do I not need right now? This stuff, it's all just hide. Chain. Forge bellows, hanging brazier. Fantastic. Oh, my heart was pumping right there. My heart was pumping. I should stop wasting fire arrows. Oh, hello. I just need to find a building. Surely somewhere around here is a crypt. How far am I going to have to go to find one? Um, what? Um, no. No, 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 no. Uh, I've never seen one of them before, and I'm terrified by that. And it's coming towards me. Stamina. Yeah, that's coming towards me. That's coming towards me. No, I don't need you, skeleton. Please run. Poison resistance. The drag. 
No. No, 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 no. 